Hi, I'm going to talk about the module system on Bianca. And the module system has it has the purpose that all scientists or all users can work together without problems uh, when they use different versions of different tools. They can't install stuff, so we have to pre-install it. And I'm just going to go through the exercises. Exercise one, verify that the tool Cowsay is not available by default. So I'm logged into Bianca, and if I do Cowsay, it says it can't find it. That's correct, it's not loaded yet. Search for the module providing Cowsay. To do that, you use module, spider, Cowsay, and then we'll search through all the modules and look for one or more versions of Cowsay, if any. Well, it even gives away the command to load it. And let's take a look. Load a specific version of that module. Sure, 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 sure. I already copied pasted it. So now I have Cowsay loaded. I guess I now need to verify that it works. Let's do that. Cowsay hello. And indeed, we have a cow that says hello. Next step is to unload the module. Sure, sure, sure. So that's easy. Just use module unload. And now we have to verify that it's not available anymore. So now, um, yeah, so now the VPN, so I'm outside of SUNET, so sometimes the VPN goes away, it will come back soon. It means I can't type for a couple of seconds. So let's uh, wait patiently on that for that. So the idea, yeah, so there it is. So let's see if Cowsay again works. No, it's unloaded, it doesn't exist anymore. Next step, create an executable script called CowSays Hello. It should load a specific version of the CowSay module, after which it uses CowSay to do something. So that's exactly what we already did. So I'm going to copy. So I'm going to create that file, CowSays Hello. Uh, oh, yeah, all right. So that VPN is gone again. So what I'll be doing, I'll first create the empty file. Then I'll use nano to edit it. You can also use a different editor like uh, Vim or Emacs if you like that. I use Nano because it's very, it's most natural to beginners. Um, so I create the file. I'm going to use Nano to edit it. I start with the shebang or the hash bang uh, because the, the exclamation, this is a hash, exclamation marks also called a bang. Uh, bin mesh module load, and then I don't know. Well, Cowsay slash 3.03 if I remember correctly and then Cowsay hello. So this should looks like a solid bash script. Um, I pressed Ctrl X to exit. It says do you want to save? I click press yes for enter. Which file name? I it suggests the file name it used, so I press enter. And now I have uh, called to this created the script cow says hello. So let's take if um, let's take a look if the, the version matches. So it's 3.03, 3.03. .03, so that's all great. I cannot run it yet. Cow says hello because it's not executable yet. So I'm now going to make the file executable, and now I can run it. And what it will do? It will load the module, run Cow say. Question is. Is Cowsay now loaded, yes or no? Because before this, I could not use Cowsay. But now it has run the script, loaded Cowsay. Is it still active, yes or no? Well, that's easy to find out. You just run Cowsay again, and then it says, hey, I don't know it. So that means if you load a module in a script, after the script, it's unloaded. It's, it's not exactly that, if you take a look at the details, but in practice, after running a script, it doesn't add those modules. All right, so this is this video uh, because I done all the exercises. I found out that if the Cowsay module is not loaded after running a script, is it loaded? Yes or no? No, it doesn't get loaded by a script. So that's my concluding remark. I wish you a very good day. Bye.